Hey, welcome. This is uh, Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and we've got some drone footage of the uh, Giga Nevada uh, construction for the Tesla Semi. Last video was four weeks ago, and we'll have a chance to look at um, the four-week-old video and compare it to this to this video for progress. What we're looking at here is the far north end of the um, Tesla property that uh, is adjacent to Milan Avenue. And what we just saw was um, some uh, infrastructure, some uh, a box and access to the uh, Milan Avenue utilities. Those utilities were only put in like six months ago. It sort of explains why it ran up Milan Avenue instead of all the way up Electric Avenue to the Giga Nevada site. If you look here closely, it looks like they have prepared to cut into that new, um, the new utilities, whether it be for electricity um, or, or other utilities. In addition, some of these cuts into this uh, side of the hill here of the former warehouse on wheels um, look like they could be and are likely for drainage. So I believe the current phase of construction is preparing utilities underground utilities and um, drainage for this site. As we know, this, even though this is a, a rain shadow um, in northern Nevada, occasionally we get deluged as we did last week. By the way, one of the reasons for this video and one of the things I'd like your help with is what is the um, progress that you can discern? I see a lot more um, equipment out here. Up there on the right, I see some grading. Um, I think that in the last four weeks, they've actually put in some um, culvert pipes and um, utility pipes. And um, I do know that this spot, or the one we just looked at to the right, uh, they used to have the, the riprap removed um, between Milan Avenue and the wash there. And to me, that tells me that they may have already completed that um, access that they need to there. Um, I, I'm a lot, most of what I'm doing here is, you know, speculation, but it seems like the angled cuts are perhaps for drainage and the direct cuts to Milan Avenue are for utility access. You can see a lot, all those culvert pipes um, appear to be the same ones that were there four weeks ago. Uh, but there's a lot more equipment. All of that heavy equipment at the top of the screen was all parked together up above, and now it's lined up like it's getting ready for action. Um, we see water trucks, excavators, and, um, and just like I said, I'd really be interested if you guys have a more, you know, can study this as alongside me. This is my first look at it. This is the far northern end of the property. Oh, and here's pictures from last week. I mean, from four weeks ago for a comparison. And this is the drone footage from four weeks ago. And um, like I said, those culvert pipes appear to be the same ones, although perhaps some are missing. Per perhaps all of the ones have been put in the ground and these are new and that the ones we just saw were new ones. Um, but you'll see uh, that they, um, I believe you'll see here in a minute how, how they've moved that, they've put that rip rock, rip rock, rip wrap rock back where it was um, on the, right there in the top left corner. And uh, in any event, let me know what you think about the uh, progress made. There's uh, more to be talked about Another discussion point for another video, I think, would be to talk about the tax abatements that were put in place 10 years ago, and uh, some of which are due to expire this year, and some of which were 20-year tax abatements. Um, and there's a new set of abatements worth approximately 330 to 360 million that were put in place um, when the Giga Nevada expansion was announced. Um, so that's a topic for another uh, day, but um, I think it'd be very interesting to, to discuss that and dive deep into that. 
at the end of this video you'll see I'll take a little uh, fly over to the um, to the Giga uh, to the prototype semi production plant where two semis from the engineering team are getting ready to go out on their endurance testing run and there they are out there we'll see more later as we uh, as we um, zoom in and I uh, endeavor to uh, not fly over any Tesla property until such time as uh, that a decision has been made on um, and an understanding between Story County law enforcement the district attorney and Tesla and they definitely feel like David so a brief overview of the um, 2014 tax abatement um, agreement between Tesla and uh, Nevada city state and county uh, was there was a 20-year abatement on sales tax uh, pot worth approximately 725 million a 10-year abatement on property tax worth 332 million and a 10-year abatement on business tax worth 27 million that was signed in 2014 the two 10-year portions were just about to expire however new abatements have been put in place and agreed to um, and uh, it's uh, those those are totaled 330 to 360 million a little bit of controversy about how um, the uh, the details of the agreement were um, subject to an NDA and rather than open uh, transparency and uh, so before it was voted on in, in any event um, it looks like we are proceeding full speed with the new building uh, again for those of you who haven't been following along it's not the 3.6 billion dollar expansion that was announced that will be that was uh, with the rendering that showed the um, expansion of the existing gig in Nevada into the full uh, building footprint um, that that was uh, shown in that rendering that 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 could easily come to pass sometime in the future but for the interim um, similar to the gig in Mexico uh, change in plans they've gone with a much uh, smaller uh, and less aggressive less costly less capital intensive uh, uh, construction of a separate building for the Giga uh, Nevada volume semi-production uh, so that's good news it's good news for the short term and it doesn't mean that the long-term expansion plans um, aren't can't still be done in the future when the uh, when the economy and interest rates perhaps make it more favorable.